we spent an entire day just rehearsing one shot. There's always one sort of signature shot in Brian's films. And in this case, it was the brilliant shot of Francis Sternhagen speaking all of the exposition, all the psychological explanation of uh, Kane's bizarre split personality. If you remember the shot, it's, it's in an, the, he found a wonderful piece of architecture. I think the, uh, the, the city hall of, uh, of one of those Palo Alto uh, towns, I can't remember the name of it, but it's a modern building with lots of steps walking down an atrium. Well, the camera goes swiveling down. It spirals as it goes down and it covers Francis as she walks down. One pair of stairs, another set of stairs, another set of stairs, finally goes all the way into the basement, finally goes up to a door. The door opens and there's Kane. And at the very end, the camera twists a little bit. We spent a whole day rehearsing the shot and then the next day getting maybe three good takes of it. Uh, and Brian loves that stuff. And, and it's in the case of Raising Cain where the sort of psychological underpinnings and authenticity of the whole notion of split personality are a little bit suspect. It's a great way of presenting all the exposition because you're kind of enthralled by the cinematography and by Frances Sternhagen, a great actress. Uh, so that it's like you simply accept, you simply accept what she's saying and ignore it as you completely enjoy just the theatricality of the shot. You know, and Brian knows what he's doing. Uh, he gets you to accept a completely far-fetched premise and just go with it like a fantastic piece of fairy tale storytelling.